One week ago, the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals handed down one of the most surprising and controversial decisions in several years regarding bankruptcy law. In a unanimous decision, the Fourth Circuit held that bankruptcy courts are not limited to Article III jurisdiction. Therefore, the appeals court held, bankruptcy courts may continue to adjudicate matters that are moot. And logically, if bankruptcy courts are not bound by Article III, they may also issue advisory opinions. And as a result of the fact that bankruptcy courts are not governed by Article III limits, the appeals court went on to say that if one of these decisions beyond Article III are submitted on appeal, they are unreviewable by Article III courts because, yes, as you guessed, those decisions were beyond Article III jurisdiction. I can report to you that the losing side in the Fourth Circuit has already filed a motion for rehearing on Bonk. I can also report that, as we said in our story on the ABL website on September 19, some scholarly commentators have very much disagreed with the Fourth Circuit opinion. And since my story appeared, several other very intelligent people have told me that they too believe that the Fourth Circuit decision is in error because, in their view, uniformly, the jurisdiction of bankruptcy courts is entirely derivative. That is to say, bankruptcy jurisdiction and power is given to district courts who may then refer some matters to bankruptcy courts. Those of you out there who may be interested in this decision might very well consider filing amicus briefs in the Fourth Circuit because, as I said, there is already a petition for rehearing en banc that has been filed in the Fourth Circuit. I am Bill Rochelle, the editor-at-large for American Bankruptcy Institute. God willing, I will return same time next week with something interesting from the world of bankruptcy. Until then, be well, stay safe. Good day.